Hello and welcome to a new video from Digi Design Resort. Fellow designers, in this video we are going to create a printable together. This is the one you see here and what people can make from it is this greeting card. And yeah, well, that's for now. We are going to use Affinity Designer and I show you exactly what you need to do. Before we have a look at Affinity Designer, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, click the little bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video and hit the like button. I'm using the kit Sunshine Ahead and I'm loading all the elements and papers into Affinity Designer and once I have done that I can easily drag and drop them into the program. And here is Affinity Designer, which is from Zerif.com. I leave a link below so you can check that out. It's really yeah, cheap, not really cheap, but you know, it's really something you should get if you are really serious about designing. And now without any further ado, let's get started. In this video, I want to show you how to create this beautiful printable so you can sell it in your Etsy store or in your home store, wherever you want. But basically, we create this to sell it. And for this, I'm using Affinity Designer, which is a great program you can get in the App Store or on the Zerif.com website. I will link it below. And um, it is pretty cheap to get and you can do basically all and everything you need to do for designing your own digital products. So first of all, I show you here which product I have created. I created an A4 page and from this A4 page, you can now create a card. For this card, we have these elements and a background. And now we want to create this paper ourselves and for that I already opened an A4 sheet. If you don't know how to do that you go to file and then you can create a new paper. Click on new and then you choose a template in A4 and um, just click then create on the bottom right. But we already did that and so here is our paper already. So we just need it as a sheet, as a cheat sheet, <laughs> so we can see which elements we need for this paper. So when you create something like that, it's very important that at the bottom you have something which labels your brand. So here in this case, it's digitaldesignresort.com and that's why I put the logo on the bottom right and then I gave the whole thing a name this moment captured with love and the name is this because i have a word art which is this as well so i put it as a name whatever you put is fine i just want to show you how this works and that's why we now go to the free document and first of all edit this uh, to add this part on the bottom and then we are going ahead and add the elements here so now let's switch to the document, to the empty document. And now let's place the logo on the bottom. For that, you click on File and then Place. Then you choose whatever you have as your logo. I have uh, created a PSD file for that. You can, of course, create something completely different. Just make sure it is in your document. So go to the bottom here and um, then I can in Affinity Designer, I can double click in it and it opens up a new document and then I can modify it. So in this case, I put here um, this moment. I write it with capital letters. And now I need to move it to the right. So to make sure that everything is aligned. I choose that tool, click on it, and I can move it with my arrow keys, or I can just move it with a mouse, of course. So that is a, pretty much the easiest way. And once you have done that, you can just close the document. 
and then it is added in your new document in the empty one and you see on the bottom here is the new name in it so in the next step we need to pull out all the elements from the left side into our document just drag and drop and now you need to uh, turn on your brain basically because we need to have it in the right size our paper is a4 and when we have a card we fold it in the middle and that means we have that space basically for all the elements we want to place there so let's go back here and we need to add a ruler on the half of the paper and then we know basically so it doesn't have to be 100 percent precise it's not you know if you have it 14 15 centimeters that's okay and um, then you just click on the bear and you transform it uh, to a smaller size. Of course, you can put your elements on the whole paper. They just have to be accordingly in the size for the card you want to create. So that's why we usually make it fit here to on the bottom and then move it wherever. So the bear, that's the bear. And the next one is we just move on the trunk here on top again drag and drop it into your document again imagine that you have an a4 card half size so an a5 card and you want to put the trunk behind the bear you can see now it's much too small so i pull it a little bit bigger so it makes sense yeah, so I actually can imagine how it looks when I have it behind the bear. And I want to have it even a bit bigger or I make the bear a bit smaller. It's totally up to you, of course. But basically, that's how it works. And now you go on and put all the other elements on your A4 paper. You can always have a quick look at the paper itself, of course, and then see what you have to place and um, then you go on. Yeah, the bees have to be a bit smaller actually, but we can take care of that in just a bit. First, we go ahead and place everything we need. So here's a grass. You see, I just switched it to the right and, you know, we can also duplicate it once again and then just turn it a little bit into the middle. So just go ahead and press command D to duplicate. And then you just uh, turn it around a little. So what else are we missing here? The three grasses and the snail and the bees and the tag and the word out. So I guess we need the tag, we need the snail and we need the word out. You see this is far too big for the A5 card, so we need to make it a bit smaller. That's too small. Yeah, that's a good size, I think. There was a snail. Or, okay, we make, we go on with the tag now. So now again, let's go ahead and see if everything in the size fits perfectly. So I just, 
you know, I just go around now and look. Maybe the bear can be a bit bigger here. Or here the grass can be a bit bigger. Because uh, according to the other one, it's very small. If I look at the trunk, so I pull it a little bit bigger. And make adapt the others as well. Make sure you have enough space to draw, to cut around here the different elements. So that's why I need to uh, put it with a little bit air around the elements. It doesn't matter if one is a bit bigger than the other. Basically, you just have to have the size that fits. You don't have to make it in a special size. So let's check once again if the bear fits now. And yes, I believe it does. And that one can be a bit smaller, but doesn't have to. Yeah, so basically that's it. You could even duplicate the bees here if you want to. It's totally up to you, of course, just to make uh, the space filled here. But, you know, <laughs> it's up to you. Um, we can make this one a little bit bigger, maybe. Yeah, it's a big honey pot next to the bear. Okay, so that's it. Now we have all our elements on the paper and uh, we can move ahead with the paper itself so in the next part what i want to reach is i just want to place one of our additional scrapbooking papers we have here in the whole sheet so here's another a4 sheet which i created the same way as i've shown you before and then we just grab a paper from here and drag and drop it uh, onto that paper yeah. It's as easy as that. So we, we now have to put it on the right place. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Now you can save both, both things you've created. And then we need to create a PDF from that. Or you just sell it as a JPG. That's totally up to you, whatever you decide. But basically you can go here from the document and create a PDF and put, in best case, you would put both this sheet as well as that one into one sheet and then create a PDF from that. So have a quick look here again. Here I can put at the bottom my branding while I cannot do it here because imagine people print it out, your customer prints it out. They don't want to have a branding here on the bottom because if they do, they always have it on their paper. So they cannot create a card from that, right? So put just one branding here in your first document and that's it. So by now you should be able to create any printable of your liking. Just pick a set of graphics, create something from them and give people the graphics so they can create something on their own. But be, always be sure to show samples of your work. and. Yeah, that's it from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if so, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.